your girl named Marie or Nay for short and I'm back with another video <sighs> good morning y'all it's too early I literally just woke up and I decided I wanted to do a video for y'all so let me see what time it is y'all it's 7 27 and I'm up like why am I up why am I up? Uh, it's that holiday, what, President's Day? So, yeah. Um, so, that's why I was going to stay in. So, okay, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me. Um, going to work with me. Watching me do homework. Because, y'all, I got homework. I got homework over the weekend. And I still didn't start it. What was I doing over the weekend? I think I was just lollygagging, like, but y'all know me, I love it, uh, I'm gonna always do my homework on any work, so yeah, I gotta do my homework, if y'all hear story of Soraya, she right here, <laughs> yeah, so, I'm gonna get up soon, I just, I don't know if I'll probably go back to sleep, but this is my intro right here, so, Y'all just keep watching, like, <laughs> I'm tired, so. Alright, y'all, guess who's up? <laughs> Say hi, baby. She just woke up, so y'all know what that means. I gotta get out of bed, so I can make us breakfast. And we can brush our teeth. Ugh. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I stayed in the bed, and... I stayed in a bed and was on TikTok because I made a video yesterday and it's blowing up right now on TikTok. So basically the video is about, you know, my man taking me to build a bed. So yeah. Let me tell y'all how that how that went. Let me let me chat it up for y'all. So um for Valentine's Day my boyfriend asked me what I wanted to do. Y'all already know from my previous video, I had told y'all that um, I couldn't celebrate Valentine's Day because I had school and I had to go to work straight after. So we was going to celebrate it the next day, which we did. So we had ordered a pizza hut because that's our favorite pizza. And then we came in the house, we chilled, we played board games, we played Uno. By the way, I beat him at all the games. Cause he is so a loser. We took pictures on my little uh polo is it polo no the Insta Max camera thing. Um Yeah, we just enjoyed our night and I told him what I wanted for Valentine's Day. Like I didn't want nothing too big. Like cause he always go out for me. I just wanted something like intimate. So the whole staying home that was something I really wanted and then I told him as a gift I just wanted a teddy bear but I wanted to make my own teddy bear so he didn't do it that day but yesterday he, he first of all I'm on the phone with him he like after school make sure you come to my house so we could go somewhere so I'm like okay I'm not understanding what we about to do, but I just do it because Araya was with my mom yesterday. So, after school, I went to his house to go uh, get him, and then we driving. And I'm in a passenger seat, by the way, so I'm just like, what the? So, he like, oh, we about to go try this place. Like, I'm about to put you on. He know I love food. And he always trying to put me on to, this, to like, a new restaurant or something. So, I'm just like, hmm. We get to a mall, and I'm like, what food restaurant is here? Like, because I see the Cheesecake Factory, but I've been to the Cheesecake Factory, so you're not putting me on the Cheesecake Factory. But i never really been in this mall. Like, I don't really go to this mall unless I really don't want to be around people. So, I'm just saying, like, bro, yeah. what is here that I didn't try that he tried? So, 
we still driving and everything and I'm still clueless. So he like I'm asking him questions now at this point. He like, stop asking me questions, go back to reading your book, you'll see when we get inside. And I'm just saying like, yo, what? So we walk inside and we just still walking. And I'm just like, yo, what the so I'm at this point I'm not even paying attention like I just pull out my phone because we're steady walking and he's not saying nothing but I was looking for food restaurants but I didn't see no food so I'm like yo y'all we go in front of the builder bear and I just froze and I just got so happy like my inner childhood just came out and he like didn't I tell you I was going to take you here and I'm like, oh my God, you really brought me in. He was like, yeah, now go pick out your, uh, <laughs> get it, baby. He like, yes, yeah, so now go pick out the beer that you want. So mind y'all, the beer that I really wanted, it, I guess it don't sell in the U.S., but it was the Cinema Roll beer that, that belongs with the Hello Kitty collection, because if you know me, I love Hello Kitty and my whole room used to be Hello Kitty when I was like 16. So yeah, I wanted that bear, but they didn't have that there. So I went with my second option, which was the um the new collections that had came out. They didn't have the purple frog anymore. I guess everybody took all the purple frogs. And so I went with this bear. And this what I had got, y'all. Oh my god, ain't she cute? She got flowers all over her. I was all over her, and I love flowers, but there's a, it's a specific type of flower that I like. And my favorite flowers are lilies. So I just went with this um, teddy bear, and she's a bunny. She also has on a bunny suit. Don't ask me why. When we was getting her all dressed up and everything and i picked out the outfit he like she's a bunny wearing a bunny suit why and i'm just cracking up mind you a, a guy had brought his family there so he laughing at my boyfriend because he's making fun of my teddy bear because she's a bunny with a bunny suit on and i'm just like you don't get it like bunny ha ha bunny suit like <laughs> Yo, I can't, but I'm so happy, y'all. I named her Lily. So I was sleeping with her last night. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. So she's just sitting here on this bed. Araya can't even touch her. But yeah, that was my um uh, my little thing yesterday. I'm sorry, y'all. My breeze is itching. I really had fun yesterday, and that's what I made a TikTok on, and it's actually blowing up right now. Let me show y'all. Oh look. Yes, baby. It's like so. It's actually going up right now. So if you don't have me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok because my TikTok be going up. Let me show y'all my TikTok. I'm always posting up there. So yeah, that was my that was my day yesterday, and now we about to get our day started today. Now that she up. We about to well she eating she eating the cereal. But I'm about to attempt to cook something. I just need to get up and I really don't feel like getting up. Like I love when I don't have school in the morning and I just gotta go to work because I like to I like to sit there and just relax and stuff. But I'm not gonna get up soon, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm in the kitchen. I finally got up like so I'm about to see what I'm gonna make for breakfast. Araya, get out that bathroom. So I think I'm gonna make me an eggs and bacon sandwich. <laughs> That's my phone, y'all. A eggs and bacon sandwich. Um, and I'm gonna make Araya bacon and toast. Watch out, baby. So that's what I'm going to make. <clears throat> Y'all. So this week. Baby. Move. Get off the refrigerator. Move. Um, 
This weekend, I know for a fact y'all seen what was going on with the whole crime thing. Right? Like, because we need to talk about that because I got my own opinions about that whole thing. Just to let y'all know. I mean, really? Why are we still coming at Chris Brown neck? Why are we still doing that? Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Because this man had paid the price for the things that he had did in the past. And he's still getting, like, backlash for it. I don't understand that at all. And it's the fact that irrelevant people is coming out of Wood's work. Just coming at him. And it's like, when were you ever relevant, my love? When were you ever relevant? Like, what's her name? Ke Kylie? Williams, whatever, however you say her name. The girl from the the Broken Promises, pro Broken Promises crap. Like, her. She's not relevant. And yet she, she came out of nowhere talking about Chris Brown. Does that make any sense to anybody? Because it don't make sense to me at all. But I just, I don't know. Like, we really live in a, a world where... Everybody just got their opinions on, or they just want to keep speaking on stuff that just don't need to be spoke about anymore. Like, what? It just, it just doesn't make sense at all. And I feel bad for Chris Brown. And I love me some Chris Brown. But it ain't even the fact that because I love him, I feel bad for him. No, I feel bad for him because he is a human. Like, we all make mistakes. But for some reason, Araya, put the chair back. I'm sorry, y'all. She all loud in the background. But for some reason, as humans, we're not allowed to make mistakes. Even if you are a celebrity, you feel me? It's like you're not allowed to make a mistake. And you are as a as a celebrity. Yeah, because they're still human. Like, I just don't understand. But I'm just saying I'm on Chris Brown's side. Like, he was young when the whole situation happened. And I'm not saying, like, violence is the answer and what he did was okay because he had no right to put his hands on Rihanna. But let's be for real. Rihanna had already said that she put her hands on him first and all this other stuff. So, y'all still victimizing the victim even though she let it go, like, years ago. I don't understand. Like... It's like, I don't know. I don't know how celebrities do it because I wouldn't be able to do it. Like, my life is just always out in the open. Like, I know for a fact with me doing YouTube, that's kind of like me putting my life out there and stuff. And I get it. But at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to make me feel any type of way. And I get where Chris Brown was coming from, why he blew up the way he blew up. Because it's like... How many times he got to keep hearing the same thing over and over again? Like, he get it. He understood. He did his time. You don't hear nothing negative about Chris Brown anymore. Like, all he do is make his music and disappear. So, why aren't we... Like, you feel me? Like, why aren't we letting that go? Why? I don't understand that, but... That's just the world we live in. We live in a weird world. Like, everybody here is so weird. That's all everybody ever talk about. Oh, he's a woman abuser, all this other stuff. Half of y'all be getting abused by y'all men. But want to talk about other people. And still going back into a relationship with them. And I'm not even talking about the ones that actually get abused and just trying to survive i'm talking about the ones that get abused but talk about the next person that got that's getting abused or got abused like how are you abused and getting talk and talking about somebody that's being that got abused or being abused does that make sense does that make sense some of y'all don't even live a perfect life where y'all kids out here doing the worst like killing other people and y'all worry about chris brown in his past and that's what I'm that's where my where I'm getting at because it's like everybody's so quick to judge but nobody life is perfect. Make it make sense. Cause it don't. It don't make sense. It really don't.
But that's just my intake for that. I don't care how other people feel. You go against the whole thing, but I feel like it's stupid. Like, why are we still talking about this? I'm so sick of hearing about Chris Brown and what him and Rihanna did, even though it was a fight between them two. Oh, I'm not about to sit here and judge nobody about what they did when I'm not even perfect myself. I don't even live a perfect life. I done did stuff in the past as well, like... And it wasn't okay. I know I did stuff in the past that I would never do again. I would never do again. Because I know for a fact it was wrong. It was stupid. It was childish. And I was young. I would never do it again. I don't see myself how I used to be when I was 16 and 17. I am about to be 23. Nobody is the same person that they was years ago. Let's be convinced. Because half of y'all that I know for a fact that that's my subscribers that talk to me, I'm pretty sure y'all not even the same person that y'all were before. I know y'all not. Y'all not even doing the same things that y'all was doing before this. But that's just my input on everything. So right now, I'm cooking my bacon. What the? That's what your package was? No, this is what mommy gave me for um for Valentine's Day. Oh. I thought I lost two because they came off. Oh. Uh, no. This is my mom, y'all. Me in the room. I open your fridge with some clothes that. <laughs> Don't be touching my bacon. No, you know who I got bacon it's from out of her food, people. Why are you sweating? Bacon, I didn't ask for bacon. I mean, the one for the house. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we are in the room now, about to eat. So right now I'm about to put on my little show that I watched for like the 10th time. So what we have for breakfast is two different things, right? So Araya has butter toast and um, bacon for breakfast. And I have an English muffin with, <coughs> calm down, drink your water. And I have an English muffin with butter and jelly, bacon, um, fried eggs. So this is my breakfast right here. This thing be rocking early in the morning. By the way, the show that I'm watching is this. Everybody should know this show. Say hi, baby. Let me. Sit here and enjoy our breakfast, then we gonna come back to y'all. We both drinking water, cause it's good to drink water early in the morning. So.
Okay, y'all, so we in the bathroom. Hold on. And now we about to brush our teeth. Say teeth. Say teeth. Look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, right about to wash her hands first. That's a bit. Yeah. Back in the room, y'all. My room is messed up because of her. Uh, that's the perks of having kids. But today, I actually want to get pretty. I want to take some pictures today, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's take some pics. Um. Ooh. Yeah, I had last night. So, we're going to take some pics today. And y'all, so I've been reading a new book today. Like, let me tell y'all. When Christmas happened, I done read like five books within that short period of time from Christmas to New Year. Like, can y'all believe that? Yep, done read five books. So, I done read like majority of the Colleen Hoover books. Her books is good. I like her books. Like, I don't know what people be talking about, but I really, really, really like her books. Like, they are just so good. My favorite books are It Ends With Us, It Starts With Us, and Verity. Those are my favorite books right there. Right now, I'm reading... Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. So, right now, I'm reading Regretting you so i was getting like mixed opinions about this book when i was searching it up like some people kept saying like oh it's a slow start it's boring it's not really what colleen hoover be writing it's predictable all this other stuff let me tell you i got a whole different perspective with this book like this book is based off a mother and daughter perspective which is different because um Usually Colleen Hoover doesn't do that in her books. So you basically get two point of views from a daughter's point of view and a mother's point of view. And it's like so good. And the mother in me really, really relates to the mother in the book. You feel me? So I don't know. When I was reading it, it was already starting off good. Like it caught my eye automatically and I just couldn't put it down. And then like, I feel like it's fast paced because once you start reading it like stuff be happening i be i was like dang already like what the but yeah what's wrong baby what's wrong you don't even know that's how i feel about the book like i actually like it so that might be on one of my uh, top lists for colleen hoover so i'm currently reading that book now i don't think i'm gonna I'm not gonna read it till I go to work and stuff, but yeah, I'm reading that book now, and it's so good. It's so good to me. I like it. So yeah, um, I'm about to sit here and take Instagram pictures, and then I'm going to come back to y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> 
packet that I got that I didn't do so we're about to do this now for your boy shout it yeah do yeah. rock to the beat for your boy radio killer killer shout it clap it shout it tight it shoot straight all night long 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 Now it's time I get back up with you Girl, with you Oh yeah, we used to kick it up and talk But now she's all grown up Rockin' them stilettos, jumpin' up out of that Mercedes truck Ooh, it was Keisha It was Sonya, it was Sonya It was Moni, it was PC It was Kiki Now to see you at 23, all I can say is Some pieces around my ponytail. Cause I told y'all I wanted to get cute today. So that's what we doing. We getting cute. I like my ponytail tight cause this be hurting my head. Should I have made it higher? I think we could. I think we could. And then y'all know me. I like to add a little razzle dazzle to my ponytails. I'm about to add some lashes on two. Crazy part is y'all. I like to wear lashes, but it's like I really can't at night. Cause I can't see. And I be needing my glasses for the night time. So yeah. So there's that. I left my lash glue in the car, so I'm just about to use my new lash glue. Well, something, and it's about that time for me to start getting ready for work. Y'all. <laughs> I need to go back to the gym. I missed a whole freaking week and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ooh. About to put 
all my lashes. I'm gonna try using my camera for it because my mirror got the little glare on it from the sun. This is how I put on lashes, y'all. <laughs> oh, y'all, this is the first time I ever put on my lashes correctly for the first time. Hi, hey, y'all. Lucas Scott plays his first game for the Tree Hill Ravens. That's right now. The Ravens are 5 0, but this is their first game. Oh, this is a suspension of 6 Okay, y'all. Now we getting ready for work. Okay, y'all. So now I'm at work, as you clearly can see. I'm sorry I didn't record. Like I was just so hungry, but I ended up getting my lunch, so I ended up getting Subway, and I just devoured it because oh my god, I was just so hungry. But. It's nothing really going on. Nothing really goes on at my job. Honestly, all I do is watch the cameras and, you know, greet people. Yeah, I'm about to study. I already showed y'all how I studied, so I'm not going to put that in the video. And then later on, I'm going to just read. But that's basically, like, my day and, you know, a whole get ready with me and everything. This was kind of like a random video I wanted to do, so, yeah. Um, like always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and, you know, we coming back with more content. <sighs> I won't be leaving work until 12 o'clock, so...